Alright, hi. Um, so, we're going to do another video on uh, brewing. Hopefully this one should be a little bit better since uh, I've got a better program to do the capturing. Um, and I'm using a microphone instead of the computer microphone, which was terrible. So, um, <clears throat> so we're going to start off again just by uh, looking through the cards. And I kind of already have an idea of what I want to do, but um, really haven't looked into it at all. Um, so I, I was thinking we could make something around um, ingest and, uh, or not ingest, the, the processor cards and the, um, and the exiling cards. So we got like a uh, quarantine field, um, we have uh, let's see, where's the other one? Just a few more. St uh, status snare. Stasis snare, sorry. I think there's one more. Maybe not in here, maybe there's in a different set. But there's lots of white, so, um, there's lots of white stuff with exiles. Um, so I, th I think it'd be cool to make a deck around, um, that, and uh, with, uh, the processors. So, um, I'm going to try and make that. So, first of all, um, I don't know if quarantine field's going to be in here. It's, it's okay. It costs four to exile something, and then um, six to exile two things. So it might be in there. Maybe it's two or something. We'll see. Um, but so we're, I'm just going to start with that. I'm just going to start with. I want to put in lots of removal that exiles, and then uh, put in some. Uh, processors that are gonna get uh, advantage off those. So um, let's let, let's first look for um, let's look for things in Excel. So this is kind of a how-to video again of just you know how to go about brewing. And um, so I'm gonna do that. The standard, just do Excel. Just anything that Excels at all. Um, maybe Excel target features, maybe what I want to look for. Yeah, it's gonna, um, it's gonna bring up stuff that Excel my stuff too. Um, but let's see. Absent is a good one. You could definitely go with that. Um, it's good to move the spell. And it's gonna give us, uh, fuel. So let's, let's uh, make a section here. Call them Exiling Spells. And I realize sometimes you want to leave them in Excel, so um, we won't, you know, process all the cards. But like, uh, for instance, the um, Deafness Raptor, we probably want to leave in Excel. So Power Three Creator, that's going to hit them. So that's good. Um, let's see, these don't Excel. They're creatures. Hedron Network. Uh, sure, maybe. Uh, Other stuff. Probably not good against many decks, but we'll see. And Offenda also exiles. That's pretty cool. Fuel, fuel your uh, ingesters or whatever. Not ingesters, but processors. Um, just by killing your features with them out. So that's cool. Um, let's see here. Oh, exiles your stuff. Bane of Galaged. That does exile stuff. Um, I'm not sure that's really what we want to be doing in this deck. I mean, I, I kind of think we're we're more towards like early game exile and then late game uh, processing stuff instead of you know late game exile. It's a good card, but not really on theme. Um. So I'm just looking for uh, removal spells right now. This thing does. It's kind of dangerous though. Kind of like it. I don't know. It's not. It's not bad. Just put it in there for now. No. Nope. Huh, that was 
to do before and now I'll maybe I just need to make a new page and then I'll show up. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So let's see now. Okay, so I got that. That sounds I'm just gonna make a list of every single thing that it sells. Or every good thing at least. Um, let's see. This exiles. Kinda already made a deck of this, but you know, might overlap. Let's see. So if you saw my previous video, I kinda made an ingest um colorless deck. Um wasn't completely around ingest. Um, this one's going to be a little bit more focused on removal and um, getting like value out of it. Um, exile all cards from this controller's graveyard. That's actually pretty sweet. All cards. It's going to give you a lot. It's going to give you a lot of. Um, Yeah, that's not bad. It'll give you a lot of uh, processing targets, which is sweet. No, it doesn't work out at all. Sells your cards. That's good. Awesome. Graveyard. Let's see. No, I don't want that. Nope. 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 Exile. Oh, dang! It's not fifteen. Um. Nope. It's the king. These might be sideboard systems. Not bad. Fathom Peter does ingest stuff. But I think we're going to put in the second set section. No, it doesn't work so well. It's too expensive. Plus, it just manifests them, anyways. Um. See, this is gonna excel something, but it's not really what we want to do. We want to actually kill their creatures or permanency, rather. Too expensive. That's not gonna do anything except for the sideboard. It's also too expensive. This is a good one. That is a very good one. So with this guy we could easily you know flash him out. Um and exile everything they control and then on our turn just ingest them or process them all. That'd be pretty awesome. Like that idea. Um let's see. Seven is this? That's a good card. I don't know really like this card. Version. 
Let me put in a thumbs up. Okay, we can um, Still haven't just put all that separately. Yeah, that's separate. Anything that excels their cards. Here's one that excels their cards. Not necessarily the best, but. Uh, This thing does XL everything. Oh wait, that's the thing. Sure, that's good. I don't know why they're in here still. Um Quarantine Field. This thing we just stuck it up. Is a good one. We use this one the other deck also. Alright, let's see here. Rock Feaster Maggot. Harder creature up in the graveyard. Game life equals to its toughness. That's Oh, it's 115. Just kidding. Scour from existence. Too expensive. We have other things that excel stuff, so. That's too expensive, too. Silk Rob, that's a good one. I think that O ring is still in standard too. <sighs> this one does. It's pretty powerful. Might be the top end, depending on how. Um, depending on how high cost our stuff is going to be, but it might be pretty high cost considering we have so much removal. Those are all in 15. Spell shrivel, is it an exile spell? Suspension field's a good one. There's gonna be a lot of white, white exiling stuff. Okay, there's that there. <clears throat> Else that exiles. Heightens presence. Reveal a colorless creature card from your hand. Do they have many? It's a decent one, but I think 
seem to have to be kind of all in on Hildrazi or something for that to work, so. Touch of the Void. I don't like that card at all. I like this one. This one's good. Three or greater? Yeah, that's, that's very good. Trigger through some fusion. It would be awesome, but <laughs> it's expensive, so you probably don't want to agree with it. But, I don't know. If you have fusions, then maybe. It's also expensive, like, I don't know if we're ever going to use that. Again, 10 drop, probably not going to reach that. Processor, we'll do that later. Processor, processor. And I'll like that one. Sounds good. Better end. It's pretty awesome. I'm looking at what looks like a lot of white, blue, and black. I think it's going to end, up, end up being white, blue, black. Unless we play like Abaddon. Could also do that. And just cut the blue. Um, cutting blue. Uh, we'll see. Better than it's good. Villainous wealth. That is going all in. Um, 10 plus X or less. Up in there, plus. Online cards. It's a good one, I like it. But, uh. Yeah, no. I think we're going away too, from our theme too much. We do that. Hmm, I guess there isn't the, um. There's the stasis in there, I swear I did I put that in already. Yeah, three can miss it. How did I miss that? Okay, let's see here. Uh, and I swear that was one more. There's the, uh... There's the O-ring. Isn't there an O-ring? That an M50? Um, let's check. It's called Ban Banishing Light? No. Mm. Oh, is that a... Uh... Oh, I guess that one on our standard. Hmm. Okay. So we got all these things. Uh, we got quite a bit of removal. Um, I like white. I think white's pretty obvious choice for doing this. Uh, we got, uh, let's see. We got quite a bit of black. That's good too. We got um, Utter End, Transgress the Mind. We got Complete Disregard. And if we're gonna go green, we could go Absan Charm and Offensive, which are both really good. Um, but for blue, we get this card, which, eh, alright. Horribly awry, it's okay. Um, Reality Shift is decent, but I think probably there's other things that are better. Um, we get Sire Stagnation, but I don't think it's that big a deal that we don't get that. Uh, Stasis Snare is it's action, so we don't care about that. Um, green, though, green. We'll see. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's, uh, let's find what processors there are. Things that deal with stuff in Exile is what we want. Processors. Okay. 
So, um, let's go back to the search. Okay, let's do, um, so the processor verbiage is, uh, what it says. You can kind of look for that. Um, put a card in the front owns from exile into that player's graveyard. So let's just do from exile into. That should bring, bring up all of them. Okay, so we got white herder is a good one. The obvious choice. We got. I don't really like this one or that one. This one's okay. Returns something from. Or it returns a creature to their hand. It's a 3 2. Um. Cost four, so that's not like great. Processor assault's pretty good. It's like a roast for any creature, I guess. That's just for more removal. I might want to get like threats. Um, let's see. This one comes into play with four counters on it. It doesn't have trample though, so it's just a big creature. I don't think it's good. Nullifier, um, that might be pretty good. I like the card, but two cards for my cell is going to be kind of hard to deal with. Um, point instant or sorcery card from the river to your hand. No, it's not powerful enough. What's that a dude? Probably not powerful enough. It's basically one green because you make a dude, but you don't really get very much benefit out of it. This one seems good, obviously. There's not many good processors, so we kind of have to build around these ones. Um, is there anything else that benefits on exiled stuff. Hmm. Let's look. Is all the processors? Yeah. It's really not that many. Let's see. Let's see if there's anything else that benefits from exile. There's going to be anything else that interacts with exile cards. Yeah, probably not. Okay, so we will use these guys. This guy seems good. Um, maybe we want to make it the blue, blue version for that guy. The counter spell guy. Um. Seems decent. I think we definitely want to play black with this guy. Voice Line Strength Um. Alright, what? Okay, we gotta think of what else is gonna be good in this deck. Okay, so. We already looked for everything that exiles, everything that benefits off exile. Um, 
What else is going to be good in this deck? Let's synergize this with processors. Well, we could have ingestors also. Um, but I think our source, I think we have enough XL to be fine. And we've got suspension field, two drop, utter end, stasis snare, silk crab. Like, it's pretty darn good amount of stuff. Quarantine field. So, okay, so what are, what are we going to do with all this, uh, Exiling all this, uh, all these enchantments. Well, so we could branch out into an enchantment-based um, deck. So we have like here, here, here. These are all enchantments. We have four exiling enchantments. Um, so crap might not be. Well, it's probably playable in main deck. Um. So is suspension field probably. So maybe all of them are main deckable. So if we have a lot of enchantments, we might be able to do like enchantment based version. Um, but I don't know how good that would be. Well, let's see. We will see. Let's make a separate section down here for enchantments. Enchantment. Um, enchantment cards. So I'm going to end it right here. Um, you can see my next video for uh, me kind of expanding on um, enchantment cards and seeing if there's anything that might uh, work with those, and then we can kind of build a deck around that, uh, both, both processing exile cards and working off enchantments, maybe. We'll see. Okay, so that will be it for right now. I will see you in the next video.